Well, <clears throat> this is the last video that I will make from our Pittman Creek property here in Kentucky. And uh, I'm really going to miss this little valley here. You can see why. It's one of the most beautiful, the most beautiful place I've ever lived. And the neighbors here have been awesome. Betty and Buggy and Sonny every morning we could hear his baby goats. Um, as he would come out with their bottle, they would get so excited. It was so cute to hear them and see him ride his horse up and down the creek. And Steve and Bobby and all the neighbors, John have made us feel very welcome here and I'm, I'm very grateful. This has been a real respite for me even though we've had mold problems in the little rental house we've been staying in. It's still been a blessing and it's been like I said a respite for me. My husband has had opportunity to minister a lot in his job and the Lord has really used him there and I'm grateful and I'm wearing my North Dakota shirt here in Kentucky. And uh, I know that God enabled me to to reach some people there in North Dakota and my husband's people. I'm very grateful for what God has enabled my husband to do here for my people. I didn't plan this. But I wanted to share um, the journey that brought us here especially for the young people because you know for so many years I was 47 before my husband and I married and um, for so long it was front and center of my desires and my um, aspirations to be married and have a family and to be a wife and a mother and uh, obviously I won't have the privilege to be a mother I'm, I'm too old now but I told the Lord if I couldn't have babies that I wanted spiritual babies and I want a lot of them. And so when my best friend Dawn, uh, you can read about her on our webpage under the biography. And you can hear more about that story under uh, in my testimony. I'll, I'll put a link so you can watch that. But when she died, uh, that was one of the most spiritual individuals I had ever met and I had never really had the privilege of of being in close association for such a, a long period of time with somebody who loved Jesus like she did. Her name was Dawn, Dawn Jenkins. And I'm I'm very grateful. I, I know that you know Dawn made mistakes but her ministry to me I treated her like dirt and and she always treated me with kindness it, and it just it won my heart. It, it helped me to understand the love of Jesus and it it changed that that goal to, to be married and to have the love of a man in my life to I had to know the man Jesus and I want to appeal to the young people that are maybe contemplating marriage make Jesus first and that's the only way that you're truly going to be happy and it wasn't until I did that, you know, my friend Dawn, she died in my arms. She died with breast cancer back in 2010. And uh, that, that really changed me. And uh, I remember praying as she died, as Enoch prayed, or as Elisha prayed, as Elijah was translated, he wanted a double portion of the Spirit. And that's what I prayed, that God would give me a double portion of, of love for him and desire to serve him that, that my friend Don had and, and uh, please pray for me with that because that's that's my desire that's what I want I want to I want to help people and as as we start this next chapter this chapter is is closing tomorrow is the last Sabbath that we'll have here we're moving on Sunday we'll be staying with a friend of ours until our, our place is, is built. We've, we're under contract to purchase a small farm. And uh, what we want to do on that farm is to teach people and to help them understand the love of Jesus and how to, to maintain your hold and confidence in Christ in the crises of our lives and, and the final events and, and to teach people how to transition from the city to the country to 
the wilderness and to keep hold of Jesus and, and to understand how much he loves us. And so I want to read, uh, I wrote out a brief testimony of how we ended up, my husband and I uh, got together and ended up back here in Kentucky again. And uh, I'll just kind of share some video footage of this little valley where I am now. And uh, and I'll, I'll read that testimony to you. You can find it in, in written form on our webpage under the um, title, In His Time. And so, that's my appeal. Make Jesus first. Don't, don't be so focused on starting a career or starting a family or whatever. Put Jesus first. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these other things will be added. And my life is a living testimony. And so I just hope that what I'm sharing here from my heart will be a blessing to someone. And uh, we'll see what the next chapter has in store for us. We'll see you on the next video. Oh, my God. 
Thank <laughs> you. 